Please note that in the version you'll be using, the top banner will be blue. In this video, we will demonstrate how to file a payroll report when entering the employee's wage data manually. Make sure the correct employer name is displayed. Then click on Tax and Wage Reporting link within the Quarterly Reporting section. Verify the business information. Click on Verify button to continue. What you will see is a year row and a quarter column. Click the link on which quarter and year to file the report. For table descriptions, please review them here. For this video, we are going to file for fourth quarter 2020. Click the I have payroll to report button. If your business is a corporation, you're required to fill out exempt earnings and stock options for your corporation. Fill out the number of exempt officers, sum of exempt officers earnings this quarter, and the sum of all exercise stock options this quarter. Once these fields are filled in, the next button will highlight in blue. Click on the next button to continue. Before we continue, let's discuss exit options. You can save your progress or erase your wage data during the report filing. Click on Exit Options. A pop-up window will appear. If you want to save your wage data and return to available services, click on Save and Return to Beginning button. You can resume your filing at any time. If you want to erase your wage data and return to available services, click on Erase and Return to Beginning button. You will see three input options below. To import wage data from a spreadsheet, click on Import button. To copy wage data from a previous quarter, click on Copy button. To manually enter wage data, click on Hand key button. In this video, we'll demonstrate the Hand key option. You can add, edit, or delete individual rows to report wages earned in Washington by your employees. The following information is required to file a report. Social Security number, last name, first name, hours, wages, and SOC code. Middle name and suffix is optional to report. If you want to add an additional employee, click on Add Record button. Repeat the process until all employees are reported. To delete a row, click on the number next to the employee within the ID column. From here, you can delete the selected employees, clear the section, or reset all wages. Teams will display an error with the red circle icon and will display in red. An example could be hours missing from an employee or a missing social security number. Warnings are indicated with a brown triangle icon and will display in black. If the report is free from errors, the next button will be highlighted in blue. Click on next button to proceed. Enter the total amount of full-time employees per month in these fields. For more information, read the section here. Once finished, click on Next button. Eames should calculate excess wage information. You can either use the ESD calculation or if the calculation of excess wages are different due to out-of-state wages, click on My Calculation is different from ESD button and manually enter the excess wage calculation here. For this demonstration, we will use ESD excess wage calculation. To do so, click on I will use the ESD calculation button, then click on next button. Review the tax summary information on the report. 
you will have the option to edit the wage detail information or the wage summary information before you submit the report. Click on these icons to go back to these sections. Once you confirm the tax summary information, click on the next button. This screen is a prompt before you submit the report. To complete the process, click on Submit Report button. EAM should give you a confirmation number and a tracking number. If the report was late, it will charge a $25 late report penalty. The user can print the confirmation number and report, print confirmation number only, make an electronic payment, or print a payment coupon. When you're finished, click on Available Services button.